tomorrow. It's the room of a thousand daydreams, a room with a hundred views. When Roy Alderson, artist and antique dealer, first moved into his tiny Chelsea flat, two things got on his nerves. First, there was the dull greyness of the King's Road outside. Well, he couldn't do much about that, but he could and did do something about the view inside. Enter now the three-dimensional room. To this room, which measures only 10 feet by 8, the artist's imagination has given added space. A handle in a false bookcase is the magic key to a subtle transformation scene. Silent pulleys lower into position the dream of every woman, a fully laden table, a vision of candle-lit beauty. The table legs were folded when it remained on high. A little more rope work and the practical affairs of daily life can be forgotten. Whose were the hands that prepared the meal, that set the table, that lit those candles? These are trivialities which neither the artist nor his guest Sue Wingfield bother to remember. A painted sky looks through a painted trellis into this room of make-believe. No breath of wind stirs the leaves of the painted flowers above. But why worry? This is a world a man has made for himself. A world to which he can retreat from reality. But reality stands only a hair's breadth away. Six weeks of paint and patience and the help of a joiner friend lie behind the creation of Roy Alderson's brainchild. True, the washing up will have to be put off until tomorrow, but the reality of a sound mechanical job lies behind the lowering and raising of that half hundredweight table. Four gears from a motorcycle and two eight-foot chains answer to the handle in the false bookcase. Within those four walls, imagination has space to roam. They enclose a Shangri-La where a man may dream in peace.